Do you want to get more out of watching movies and TV shows? One thing I realize is that the more I understand how movies work, the more I get to enjoy them. In one of our previous episodes, we talked about the unusual jobs that there are within the film industry, such as dolly grips, boom operators, and gaffers. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about the building blocks of filming, something that average viewers usually don't think about. We'll sort out what a frame is, what type of shots there are, and how to distinguish between a scene and a sequence, as well as distinguishing between a sequence and an act. I know it's a lot of info, but you got it. My name is Connor, and you are watching the Movavi Vlog, your go-to channel for creating cool videos. Before we get started though, subscribe to our channel and ring that notification bell to get notified anytime we release new episodes, challenges, or promo codes. So now that you've done that, let's get started. Frame. Let's start off with the smallest block. It's called a frame. A frame is just a still image. So when somebody says that it's 24 frames per second, that means that there are 24 still photos within a single second. For example, this is what one second of the matrix looks like if we break it down into frames. By the way, check out a frame from one of our favorite movies. Can you guess what it is? If you can, drop us a comment in the comment section. Shot. The word shot may stand for a number of things. It's a complex notion that we're gonna try to simplify for you. First off, a shot is a collection of frames that have been recorded from the time that a camera presses record to the time that the camera stops recording. It's that easy. Here's how frames and shots look in a video editing program. In our case, it's Movavi Video Editor. If we pause a video, we see one frame in the preview window. Clicking the buttons to the left and to the right of the play button, we can watch our video frame by frame. One video clip on the timeline is one shot. The joint between the clips is a cut which manifests a change of shots. If you feel like building a video clip from blocks of various sizes, go for it. I'll leave a link to Movavi Video Editor in the description of this video. Sometimes individual shots can be pretty long. Here's an example from the movie The Children of Men. This incredible scene lasts four minutes and there isn't a single cut that's visible to the viewer. The word shot also has another meaning that's connected to the size of the image. Based on their size, shots can be divided into five categories. Extreme close-up, close-up, medium shot, full shot, and long shot. We're not gonna dwell on the classification of shots because we've already shot a video on that. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out. We'll leave a link here and probably in the description. Also, shots can be classified according to the number of people inside the shot. Single shot. This is a shot with one character in the frame over the shoulder shot. There are two characters in the shot, but we see only one of them partly. Two shot. We see two characters in the frame and they both are given equal importance in the frame. Then finally, there's the group shot where there are three or more people and there's a massive shot with a whole lot of characters in the frame. Scene. The next biggest block in movie building is a scene. A scene is a combination of shots with a unity of time and place. This is the only thing that we've talked about so far that is narratively complete. For example, here's a scene taken from Lord of the Rings. You're late. A wizard is never late, Frodo Baggins. Nor is he early. He arrives precisely when he means to. <laughs> it's wonderful to see you, Gandalf. <laughs> you didn't think I'd miss your uncle Bilbo's birth. <laughs> As you can see, there are many cuts and many shots. The difference is, is that all of these things take place in the same time and the same place, giving it its own micro plot. Frodo meets Gandalf, who just showed up to the Shire after being gone for a very long time. Some people might have noticed that the scene we showed from Children of Men had no cuts, but somehow it's still a scene. You're allowed to have an entire scene that's made out of just one shot. It's absolutely true because in the world of art, there aren't really rules, there are only guidelines. And in this case, one scene is made up of only one shot. Sorry for interrupting, Connor, but I have some important news. This is about the Black Friday sale. We promised to be the first to tell you about the hottest deals, discounts and giveaways, didn't we? 
Our Black Friday sale lasts from November 29th to December 3rd, which means you can get the Movavi software products with 20, 50 or even 70% of the price. For instance, you can get the new Movavi Video Editor Plus 2020 just for $46.95 or a super handy Movavi screen recorder for instant screenshots and screencasts. It will be on sale just for $29.95. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. The best Black Friday deals will be for bundles. You basically get several apps and pay like you bought one or two. We'll tell you more about the bundle deals in the next episode of the Movavi vlog, so stay tuned. In order not to miss the sale, like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. On November the 29th, we'll add a secret link to the description of this video. It's the only way to access the Malawi Black Friday sale. That's all. Let's go back to corner. Sequence. A few scenes are combined to create a sequence. Now these scenes shouldn't be random, rather they should be connected through a common storyline. To make it clear, let's consider this sequence of Connie Corleone's wedding at the beginning of The Godfather. We see a few different scenes. Here the guests are having fun dancing and singing. Michael is having lunch with his girlfriend. Don Vito Corleone is receiving greetings and requests from his friends and partners. And here arrives Johnny Fontaine to perform his song. The sequence with the wedding lasts almost 20 minutes and it has several microplots, but it's perceived as a whole because of the unity of time and place. Act. Movie specialists single out an act as the biggest unit within a movie, and an act can be made up of several different sequences. Oftentimes people talk about the classic three-act structure. The first act is the exposition, the second act is the main conflict and climax, and the third act is the resolution or the outcome. Let's take The Godfather as another example. The basis of the first act in The Godfather is the wedding sequence. We are introduced to all the main characters and shown the background of the future conflict. The first act finishes with the attack on Vito Corleone. In the second act, there's a developing conflict between Michael, the Don's son, and the enemies of his father, who he wants revenge on. The climax takes place when Michael kills two representatives of another crime family, thus waging a clan war and then runs away to Italy. The second act finishes when Michael goes back to New York and becomes the Don. In the third act, there's the outcome. Vito Corleone dies, then Michael kills the heads of the hostile families and solidifies his role as the violent godfather of the Corleone family. For those of you who want to learn how movie scripts work, we've done an amazing episode that explains a little bit more about the three-act structure using Star Wars as an example. The link for that will be up here and down below in the description. And let me remind you to like this video and subscribe to our channel because we have plenty of more very informative videos, very fun, very exciting. Anyways, uh, I guess that's it. Have a wonderful week, weekend, night, day, wherever it is for you. We will see you soon.